This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 679. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studio in the Pittsburgh, PA uh, area. I don't know why I said that weird, uh, but the, <laughs> damn it. Uh, but we're going with it. We got, we got everybody in here in studio and outward studio like Mad Mike. He's somewhere out there in uh, upstate New York. I'm working on my Yinzer accents. He is. He is. We had we had, we had iterate here before the show. Even though if you're on video, visually it appears he's in um, some sort of studio apartment over on the uh, uh, east end of Pittsburgh. When in fact he's in Beacon, New York. Uh, I'll meet you guys at Eaton Park. No, <laughs> I hear it's a place for smiles. By the way, that's more of a Boston accent. I don't know what you're I- trying. I don't know. I said it's a work in progress. It is a work in progress. This is why you now live in Poughkeepsie, New York, and not that, Pittsburgh. That's right. That's I right. I don't live in Poughkeepsie, New York. You, Monty, you haven't paid attention to the damn yeah, show. Yeah, he hasn't for a while. Since December. <laughs> since December. This is why you're still a rookie. He's had life changes. Learn sir. the lore. <laughs> Learn the lore. Learn the this lore. Like an addict to you. This is not a fucking addict. Yeah. <laughs> no. So he rude. definitely was in an addict before. I was, was an hey. addict. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Sarks is with us. He's back again. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hello. Is it no me you're me. looking for? Uh, no threats of violence uh, this week. Nope. Thankfully. Don't you so dare far. Hit we'll me. see okay. how that goes. Uh, Ronnie made some debuts. We'll talk about them later in the show about mm-hmm. what you were doing this weekend. Something a little different. Something a little less um, neon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I can actually take pictures and not glow. Oh, good. Oh, so the reflector doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Uh, but also, we have a special new guest. First time on the Mayhem Show from Fight Society and Angel Gate. Uh, Scarlet is with us today. How you doing? Hey. Welcome. <laughs> In high fives. High fives all around. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show, Scarlet. No problem. So I don't know if you. I hope you have an idea what you got into with the like twenty minutes before the show where we talked about <laughs> everything but wrestling. Yeah. So yeah, great. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, but it is, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything on WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find uh, links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform. You can also uh, ask your Google Home or Amazon Echo or Apple AirPod. Uh, to uh, HomePod. AirPods are the ear things. That's right. You can ask that thing too to listen to the Wrestling Mayhem show on your favorite device that you talk to. Uh, or you can ask other devices that don't talk back. But, you know, that's might be a problem for you. You can I also... Asked the blender once. You asked the Blender? How did that go? Yeah. It went... It wasn't very helpful. It, it's still... But, but st- it did turn on by me talking to it, so progress. Okay. There cool. you go. There you go. That's very maximum overdrive of you. Uh, but anyways, you can also drop us a line at that email address. Good times. Good times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412206WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Hit us up on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussion happening on the Facebook group. Or sometimes just some pictures for us to laugh at. Or just 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 sharing images of uh, Britt Baker and Adam Cole's uh, uh, workout buns. The hair. The, the, okay. oh, I was about to say they're actual <laughs> okay, I realized I walked into that one. <laughs> and you can join us every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We are on, on the Facebook Live. That's where a lot of people are joining us. We're also streaming on other platforms like Twitch over at the IndieWrestling.us uh, page as well and some other platforms. But, of course, the Facebook Live is where the majority of the conversation is happening. If you could join us there or if you're checking us out later in podcast form, other platforms or on one of those other streams, you can tweet us at mayhem show with the hashtag wms679 so you can be a part of that continuing conversation throughout the week also thank you to our patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show and everybody that supports us including at the fan show one dollar level but 
diggity! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist, our friends at the Pocky Club, five dollar level, Bradley Brothers, <laughs> who Ronnie knows very much as his boss, and was reminded several times this weekend. But we also have to, uh, you know, acknowledge the fact that everybody else is okay with being on the show except for Bradley. Okay, so All Bradley right. was, comp- you know, he did get vetoed by out. Occupy he Pro Wrestling he did. at a higher level. So, mm-hmm. um, and there was there was a, there was a petition for a shut up Ronnie level. Uh, so we're trying to figure out what that's at. Uh, Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery all supporting at the Pocky Club level. They get some extra interviews. That's where we um, – jeez, what did we talk about last week with uh, – who did we have on last week? I'm trying to remember now. It's all blur. All wrestling. It's just a wrestling blur. We do like five shows a week. It's just – crazy uh our friends at the pizza club ten dollar level at thirteen dollars is ryan clark and the manager twenty dollar level apparently with veto power veto power over ronnie starks is occupypro.wrestling.com your friends your friends on the west coast you know you you know you have a friend in california now you got a friend in me man you got a friend in me you got a friend in me (laughs) you got a fiend in me Oh, I saw that gif. No, there's geez. a gif going on. Is there? there. Yeah? yeah. Um. But anyways, this is uh. Blah, 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 blah. No, you can also <laughs> you can support the show as well over at Patreon.com/slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yeah, I, I went into the wrong version of the show. <laughs> uh. But anyways, so I understand there was some news this week. Um. The gavel David Laws was the guest last week. That's right. And Bradley. That's okay. It's all coming. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, but there was some news this Easy week. Celine. What's that? Easy, Celine. Celine. Mm-hmm. It's all coming back. To- <laughs> okay, please help me out, Mike. What's going on? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, so, oh boy, Sork. Um, <laughs> I love it. You're you're like I don't know if you're excitedly pained for this thing, this idea that's happening, or. Yes. Like I feel like I feel like this announcement has like has all of us who regularly watch wrestling and try to keep up with it just like contemplating in life choices right now. Well, all right, Sorg. We're we're a little bit away from it, but how does nine hours a week of live professional televised wrestling sound to you? Are you talking just WWE or are we including the new one? Okay. I'm talking. I'm talking within one week of wrestling for standal, standard cable packages. Standard cable package, package prime time weekday evening wrestling. Yep. How does nine fucking hours? Sound? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, how how does it sound? Let's put it this way: How many of us are watching five hours of uh, uh, televised uh, professional wrestling? Okay, you're right. watching way more than that. I mean, you don't you you're an extraneous. No, Sorg, I just do my research for the show. That's right. That's right. I mean, Ronnie, I, I think you're not you're not keeping up on even the nope. three hours of Monday night, nope. right? I mean, that's kind of a hard mm-hmm. slog, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, Scarlett, are you are you <laughs> are you, how are you keeping up on wrestling? Are you are you still trying to? Yeah, yeah, I keep up on it, but not as much as I wish I would. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it just like like holy crap three hours on Mondays <laughs> or or is it just like I got shit to do? It's a little bit of both. It's mm-hmm. like you know <laughs> I got stuff to do and it's literally three hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can think of plenty of things I can do rather than watching wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, so could I. <laughs> but <laughs> but things we oh, can't discuss on the air. Unfortunately, <laughs> I do a wrestling podcast and have to talk about wrestling. Ronnie, <laughs> <laughs> I I do the quick uh, the quick YouTube. Get yeah, let's up. keep up on it. And, and that's the thing. I think most people, and I think that's what more of that's going to happen now. There's some people that are just going to be like, "Well, I, yeah, I'm going to catch up with the." I, listen, okay. Has anybody here watched soap operas? At some point in their life, George, let me roll this back yeah. a minute. Let me roll this back a George, minute. George, we watch wrestling. <laughs> okay, there are evil twins in wrestling. It's the same fucking thing. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But but it was interesting to hear people. Um, I was I was someplace where my mom and somebody were talking about soap operas, and and somebody talking about oh I just catch it with the recaps online, and I was just like and they were, the way they were talking about soap operas were, was just like how we talk about pro wrestling. <laughs> like and yes I get they're both they're they're the basically the same thing right. Mm-hmm. But Dude, they Luke hear and Laura were so over in the nineties. Was that? <laughs> 
Luke and Laura were so over in the 90s during the Attitude Era. It was great. I was That's, thinking about Bo and Hope from uh, Days of Our Lives. God, the Stefano, the Stefano was the hey, greatest he, heel. He was. <laughs> This is the thing. That's that's what we were raised on. I was WWE. You were NWA. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember all. That. Uh, Young and the Restless is our shit in our house. Oh that's, yeah, that's the stuff well, we. It watched. was all it's Days of Our Lives in my house. Oh, Days of Our Lives. My parents now watch. Well, my mom used to watch Days of Our Lives. She has this big book that talks about like Days of Our Lives and like all the history and stuff like that. Yeah, I bet she watches Young and the Restless now. And there's a guy on there that's a really good heel. I can't remember his name, but he's like he's in charge of like this big conglomerate company. Mm-hmm. But he's the worst fucking actor I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so he has one tone in his voice, and he sticks to that tone. He shows no emotion, and he's just like, "Well, my damn kids, they just they don't do anything." And is he they, Randy Orton? No, <laughs> he just he has no tone in his voice at all. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, all right. Stefano, I think it was, no. Is that what you said the other I said, day? I think I said, yeah, Stefano. Stefano sounds like a soap opera name. Yeah, I think his name was Stefano or something. I don't know. The only thing we, have we had, like, somebody just pose as another person completely? Or, uh, yeah. Or, 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 oh, really? Oh, yeah. Are we talking about, are uh, we, are we wrestling? Still, absolutely, yeah. oh. that's happened before. Okay. I, I thought we went back to uh, Days of Our Lives one that, uh, <laughs> when that dude named Patch was the same guy who played, uh, what's his fucking name? Like, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny sure, Patch. Who are we talking about? They even did that gimmick on Friends, where Joey played the twin brother of his character, Doctor Drake Ramore. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Not only is that a thing on soap operas, that's a thing on making fun of soap operas. <laughs> well, I like when they try to do the twin thing, and then you actually question your sanity whether they actually have a twin or not. <laughs> you're, like, <laughs> you're like, are they really twins? And then you try to hunt them down on like. Back in the day, you didn't have the internet to find out. But now, mm. like, you're like, all right, she's got a twin. I know she's a twin. I'm going to look it up. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, fuck. She doesn't have a twin. I'm like, this is awkward. <laughs> it's like He does do himself. Live, live and Maddie, I think it was called on Disney Channel. Don't ask me why I watch Disney <laughs> Channel. <laughs> look. That, None of us gets ass. No, that just that just popped in my head, okay? But I wow. thought she had a twin, but she didn't really have a twin. What and... is happening? All right, back to wrestling. What yeah. is happening oh, here? NXT is coming to USA. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> Holy crap. So NXT is coming to USA. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. You got us on soap opera, so that's your fault. Two hours uh, every Wednesday night. Um, I live it is gonna be live it is gonna be live now are we talking do we know yet is this gonna be live from full sale or are we gonna tour now i hope it's full sale as of now it's live from full sale okay and it will still go on the network the next night the next night at eight o'clock we all got that hastily put out email (laughs) because so we we were we sure did we did we sure did Mm -hmm. (laughs) like all of us got that um, I, I, somebody on some other board was like, "If this is how they're treating this, I don't have much hope for it." But the reason we got that email is because they made the major announcement. Then a bunch of people lashed back about what about NXT on on my WWE network, and they had to put out a statement. In turn, well, write a statement. Because if you think about it real quick, it very much devalues the network. Mm-hmm. Very much so. Well, what was it? What is it that you always say, Mike? Um, I don't pay for the pay-per-views. I pay for NXT. Yep. And now we and don't now, have to pay for NXT. Now, guess what? I don't have to pay for NXT except once every three months. Right. For a, take, for a takeover. Right. Well, and, don't... like, they, they do free month trials. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, they're going to lose a lot of money. They're going to lose a lot of subscribers, I feel like. But, and we're kind of making fun of this, maybe a response to the Chris Lee's uh, at USA, USA is like, sure, we'd like some go, definitely um, um, worthy content now that we don't have Chris Lee Knows Best. Oh, uh, oh Tina yeah. has a question in the chat. Um, how does NXT have a faster turnaround to be on the network than Raw and SmackDown? I think that's just due to the specific contracts that were signed for yes. Raw. Smackdown. Yeah, because I think Raw and SmackDown, um, they, they they get about a month delay. Is that correct? Yes. Um, yeah. And and this is this is in a world where like USA gets its first rights to it. NXT mm-hmm. came from the network because I think it's also it's not just USA. I think it's also like um, 
all the other different um, networks that airs on. Okay. And like Univision and Sky, and Sky Sports and stuff like that. Like, mm. I think they all get first rights to it. Okay. Uh, Kyle says at least we still have NXT UK. True. But um, does anyone know exactly when NXT UK airs? Nope. Before... I, I do. But yeah. I'm just asking if any more NXT. Else I don't know. It's I don't know. I'm still watching ones in November. It so. airs at yeah. it airs at three in the afternoon on a Wednesday because it airs prime time London time. Well, it it, it doesn't matter because it's all on demand. True, and, and but, it's no, pretty... but no one watches NXT NXT UK live. Is my point? No. unless you're overseas. Well, yeah, it, but like, okay, wait, wait, this is a worldwide product too. True, but but people did watch NXT proper live mm-hmm. on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are bitching like, oh, uh, you know, now what's this going to do to AEW? AEW tried to take NXT's time slot first. This is true. It's just the answer. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. I apologize. I realize the chickens are still playing on the TV in here. And I keep watching (laughs) it. And and Ronnie keeps watching it. (laughs) And only Mad Mike is not distracted by this. So we're going to change this up a little bit. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, it's just gonna be that's my space up there. So uh, Ronnie will watch three hours of chickens. Yeah, is that what we're gonna watch instead of uh, Monday Night Raw? <laughs> 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 um, uh, Scarlett, are you are you following NXT? Are you excited about this move to? In, in, I mean, other way, this is an upgrade, right? Yeah, in a way, yeah. I think it's it's good, but um, like you said, how it's not gonna be on NXT? It's like it's really a waste to yeah. me. To have NXT on um, the network at that point because you literally saw it live probably the day before, yeah, or whatever. But um, I I don't know. I gotta see how it goes. I guess I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how counter program we get. Is this gonna be like? Right. Are we gonna see them kind of responding to each other? Right. Right. And and you gotta think. Also, is this gonna change NXT now? They're a product on this level. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. right. I mean, I'm that's what I'm worried. That. Yeah, I'm so, worried about that. So, I mean, we, you know, now that this becomes a television product, do we get the people involved with the main shows like, well, now we got to take care of this. Da, 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 da. You know, it's a whole different audience or, yeah, the, or you know, it, it is the discussion. But we're going to keep it. What like this still needs to be Triple H's product. This still yeah. needs to be Paul's thing. Yeah. Untouched by other stuff. I mean, but then it's going to be live, too. Mm-hmm. Are we going to be throwing out like the lower nxt people Mm. on a live show that's the Mm. thing like because nxt for all the people that we love on it and there's a lot of people we love there's still your people that need some grooming Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like your alias and vanessa borns Mm -hmm. like they're fine but (laughs) they they need more time to cook yeah, before yeah. you they bring them up to the main roster and they get Lacey Evans. Leave them in that NXT uh, uh, easy bake oven for a little bit longer so they can uh, uh, finish getting ready. Mm-hmm. Um, but now that's happening on prime time on USA Network. So I mean that's yeah, just, that's just it's, a different thing. Yeah, it's, you know, it's learning on the job. Like, yeah, it, it really is. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there if because this probably means William Regal is going to have to be more active, mm-hmm. or we get a new GM. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like either somewhere. way, everybody's job in NXT just upgraded. I well, I I think we are going to get a new GM. Okay, and I think it's going to be someone who's there, mm-hmm. someone who wears an NXT cap every single time he's on fucking TV, and that's Shawn Michaels. Oh, he's not your boy toy. I, I'm he's he's your general manager. <laughs> And there we go. Um, I'm just your GM, GM. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone called T. Kroos. Yeah, the they're talking about ducks or like, something. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, and there's actually a lot of conversation happening. So I was going to catch up here on on this before we go to our first uh, uh, check in. Uh, but um, so so between this AEW, by the way, AEW coming to Pittsburgh. We found out late, mm-hmm. uh, mid late October, I think, uh, as well as down in Charleston, West Virginia, uh, and not at the PBG Center, but that makes sense. Hell, Raw had a lot of blocked out seats last time they were in town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just putting that there, and uh, they're going to be at the Peterson Event Center. That's going to be on the Pitt campus. This is uh, where Pitt basketball plays. Is that somewhere WCW might have been back in the day? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So they not, had a nitro there. Yeah, not not they had a nitro there. Yeah. That's crazy. I need to find that. Mm-hmm. 
well, it's got to be on the network, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I love this. I, 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 like I said, I've been there once for basketball, and I can't wait to see wrestling there. Um, they're going on sale Friday. I feel like they're going to sell out. Yeah, you think? <laughs> that much excitement? I mean, Stage AE has been selling out with, uh, with Ring of Honor. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? I hope it doesn't sell out in minutes. I'm hoping, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hoping I have time to get a ticket. But, yeah, uh, it's not. It's not like a thousand fans that can sell it out versus you know. Let's say four thousand. Now I want to look with the piece. Of, I mean, obviously they're not going to be the bigger venues, but they don't need to. I you know this, this is not a company that I think is going to be making uh, their money on the gate right now, and I think it's more the TV deal. Mm-hmm. Like I mm-hmm. mean, look, look at NXT; they're making their money on the TV deal. Do those people still get it in free at full sale. They they gotta buy. They gotta sell the tickets. Um, them, right? No, I don't Pre-sales. think it's free no, at full it's, sale for a while. They they haven't in full sale for a while. Back I don't when, I don't think it's been free at full sale for a while. Okay, but it used to be, right? Uh, I think when they first started. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when when nobody knew who a Seth Rollins was or anything like that. Right. Um, I want I want to check the seating uh, capacity there real quick. But but you know that kind of answers the one question, Mike. I know you were asking about that. Are we just doing Las Vegas tapings or what? But they're, they're going to be a, a seriously touring thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, not bad, I want, not bad, I want not bad for a t-shirt company. I want to see what their product is like beforehand, especially now. By the way, I spoke something into existence, Sorg. What's that? Tony Schiavone. What? AEW hired. No way. Tony yes. Schiavone. Tony Schiavone. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Tony Schiavone. The greatest voice in professional wrestling today. Fantastic. By the way, uh, I really hope he takes JR's spot. Did you find this? I had the I did. I did. Uh, 12,500. Yeah. So I think we're going to be okay. I can't imagine. Thir- that. Well, 13 with imagine. ringside, give or yeah. take. So I, don't 13, think, I don't think they sold that for Raw. No. And I don't care how, how big is this place? 12,000. Yeah. So okay. I think we'll be okay. Uh, PBG's honestly. like 18. Yeah, we'll be and, fine. Yeah, well, I think we'll be fine with that. There's no way they're selling that. I don't care how hot AEW is. I mean, I'm not going to get the nosebleeds. I'm going to try to get further down yeah, the I'll hole, just the but I just it'll be sell there. out. Like, yeah. It'll sell out. You may have to get something second market, but mm. it'll sell out. Uh, StubHub, get- our little old friend. Have we Have we seen uh, is, uh, the tickets have got had have gone on sale for tapings already, right? No, not yet. No, none of them? They, no. they probably, no. All uh, Friday. For, for the first couple tapings for AEW, they went on sale and sold out within minutes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're you're well, gonna have to be on. You're gonna have to be on that Ticketmaster button. We're all fretting that. All right, I'm like, I'm gonna at least get two dose bleeds just to get there, because <laughs> I think we'll just we'll swing that and we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe maybe I got to call a friend of the show. Who knows? Uh, we have a few in there, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, it, it's, um, it, it, yeah, and it, this, this, like, this feels like a real battle right now, like, between these announcements. Did they, did they announce it officially on Raw last night? I missed the segment. They did. No. They did. No? No. no. So this has no. just been something going around. They announced it today. Like, this morning today? Yep. They officially. Announced it today, yes. Okay. They didn't, I don't know why they didn't announce it on Raw last night. It seems like that would have made more sense. What was the, but, Mike, Mike, what was the framing of them adding the new? in their announcement um due to like nxt's popular growth and everything mm-hmm. it's coming on usa how convenient yeah well usa is i mean pro- they're not wrong no they're not and usa probably is kind of scrambling on hey we're losing smackdown which is you know well, hey we're losing smackdown and also oops we've lost the chrisleys mm-hmm. at the same time and like maybe people don't like the new stone cold show as much yep and I think uh, now we have something new, like Ms. and Mrs. is going to switch nights. Yep. And we can't make too many Ms. and Mrs. because child labor laws with the kid. You know, Monroe, Monroe's a hard worker, sort of. That's true. That's true. She's like the Miz. She's the worker. Would it be bad if they had, a, they had like a the, the, the twin replacement baby for reality shows? <laughs> like on Full House, <laughs> right? Well, no. We saw the replacement baby on an episode of Ms. TV last year. Like he threw it at Daniel Bryan. Remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. See, wrestling is a soap opera. Sorg. There's even fake babies. 
I mean, look at Snitsky. He kicked oh, a fake baby across <laughs> the oh. room. Our truth had, our truth had a fake baby. He did. Oh, yeah. oh he did. Our I have one. Yeah. Our that, truth had a fake. Here's baby. your baby, and now I have mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's how he won the uh, 24/7 uh, European Intercontinental title. What? Yep. <laughs> 4825. Mm-hmm. 4825 Euro Continental Television title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good times. Oh, it's accurate. Geez. It's all accurate. Mm-hmm. Who who's the current champion right now? Elias. Oh. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what uh didn't Truth get back from Elias? Nope. Nope. No. no? Oh, you did you did not watch Rock correctly. I, I did I'm sorry, I watched it upside down apparently. When is uh when is Drake Maverick getting it back? Hopefully soon. Um I, he tried tonight, but apparently the twenty four seven rule is suspended for tonight. What? What? Oh, what? Because what? because Elias is in the King of the Ring tournament. Oh, what the that hell? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. How convenient! Oh, King yeah. of the Ring tournament. Mm. Mm, they should have had pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> Are we mad? We haven't had a King of the Ring pay per view in like fifteen years. So why did they just make it a pay per view, like a special one night only pay per view? Because- I- I would love that because we need anything to do. Have you noticed like Raw every week has been like special thing, special thing, special yeah. thing, oh. right? We had the reunion. Mm-hmm. Right? There, and there's been at least two Hall of Famers on every show. Mm-hmm. That hasn't helped the ratings, but I they're still trying. So yeah. it, it hasn't him, helped him at and, all? Him and Strong. No. Yeah. No, the, rating, the ratings were down last week. Oh, jeez. Like, you know what you do to get ratings? You make the product better. Mm-hmm. Stop relying on fucking gimmicks. Well, we're getting make there. your make your product watchable for a solid two months, and well, then get there. people Mike, like, "Hey, you should watch Raw." Mike, two weeks in a row, you enjoyed Monday Night Raw. I know, and, and we I'd know. Like keep, I'd like to keep that. And going. we know, Mad Mike is definitely the barometer for uh, uh, future ratings growth in uh, professional wrestling. I I like to think I'm the barometer for all growth, Sorg. But what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Neither do I. You know what? Let's not explore I, that. I'll leave that to everyone's imagination. Hey, by the way, um, uh, while we've been chatting over here, I understand that we received uh, an update. Uh, Ronnie, uh, let me let me throw up a little bit of hashtag book Ronnie. All right. And uh, we got, if you can pay your, throw your attention to the monitor over here, uh, we got a little as seen on WMS Ronald Stark's um, action here. Oh, I'm going to have to take the graphic off so you can see it. There you go. There you go. It, there's some. It, there's some. That's, that's is, great. is it? Is it Red Plum Ronald Starks? Yep, Red no, Plum. No, no Ronald Red Starks Plum. himself. No, it's still. He's still got the reflector bit. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. that okay. that that ruins every camera shot of him. As <laughs> that's really funny. You so, know what wouldn't ruin camera shots what? if you came out to the ring carrying a crate of red plums. Now you're just ruining the whole joke I had today. You know, you're just like, hey, red plums. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you you're know. still new. You don't get to have jokes yet. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn green horns! Stop making up jokes. <laughs> Stop <laughs> trying to put yourself over, kid. You got to pay your dues. <laughs> well, you got to pay them podcasting dues, son. Sorry, brother. <laughs> I feel like we've barely scratched the surface on uh, the wrestling that's going to be happening on Wednesday night. Uh, very. What is the opening date for that? What? Uh, NXT comes on September 18th, I think. Really. And- and AEW is not till October fourth, which is weird because they've already done a lot of NXT tapings. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing double episodes on the network. So very weird. Hey, special two hour edition. Um, we're, we're... Uh, well, it's also training people to watch two hours of NXT on Wednesdays. We really need, need trained. Do we really need trained? I'll watch two hours of NXT. It's Sorg. Why do we keep coming back Monday? Because we've been conditioned to watch wrestling on Monday nights. Okay. You know this. You've said a number of times. <laughs> I have said this. I yes. have said this. I mean, uh, Scarlett, you're of a different generation than we are. Are you Are you conditioned to the Monday Night Wrestling? No. No? Like <laughs> it, it, Not lucky. really, no. No? You're just like wrestling is kind of just on all the time in, in, your, yeah. in your livelihood, in your, in your life <laughs> yeah, compared yeah. to the rest of us. <laughs> but see, the thing is. Scarlett, you didn't have to go through the Monday Night Wars. True. We lived them, man. We lived we through it. Lived them. Yeah, you don't understand. I had a picture and picture on my TV. I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It's good, Ronnie. You you lived through it back in my day. Back, <laughs> back in my I day. I used to walk up the hill in the snow, <laughs> fifteen miles to watch Monday Night Raw, then fifteen miles back to watch WCW Nitro. <laughs> yes. You Correct. goddamn kids, you just don't know what it's like. 
You don't know what it's like. Really, I don't. <laughs> I'm actually jealous. <laughs> Because now, like, at our age, like, we feel like we're obligated to actually sit down and watch three hours on a Monday. Yeah, yeah. Now like, I'm finally like, I don't have to sit down and watch three hours on a Monday. I'm like, it's like know. a life revelation, isn't it? Yeah, when I realize, I'm like, wait a minute, I actually don't have to watch this shit. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, this is I'm great. I'm still stuck or, with it. Or, you know what was even worse? The nights where I realized, oh, Nitro does a replay right after Raw ends. Oh, yeah. the greatest. <laughs> Oh God, those were terrible. Those oh, were five hour nights. <laughs> my Tuesday my Tuesday mornings at school were wrecked. Uh-huh. Uh, like Same. every week. Every week. It was I mean, it's just a precursor of what I put myself through for the last fourteen years of podcast night. But I love WCW. Point. I loved it. <laughs> ECW for me was on at Sar- Saturday mornings at three AM on MSG. Uh-huh. That was us too. Wow. It was great. Wow. I remember watching that. The first wrestling show. Believe it or not, was the first wrestling show I watched was ECW. Scarlet, Scarlet, you don't know a world where, and, and I don't know this world either because I lived in the middle of nowhere with three channels that didn't get any of this stuff. Where you had to wait, you had to wait until what one in the morning on Saturday nights? Was that it? Three, mm-hmm. three. three in the morning, three a.m. for you. Well, we had, I understand, from what I understand, and, and it, as we're, I'm exploring kind of uh, wrestling's past in the area. It was a, it was a block that started like at, at midnight or one a.m. with like Shotgun Saturday Night WWF, mm-hmm. then PWX TV, <laughs> and then you know so local PWX TV. This is yeah. like nineteen ninety eight, followed by ECW. Ah, uh, see, I never had PWX TV. No, you wouldn't because it was it's Pittsburgh. It's, Pittsburgh, yeah. it's, 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 it's a Pittsburgh pro wrestling company. So, <laughs> do you guys remember when Kimono Wanalea danced atop the ECW? I yes. remember them. I remember them saying it all the time, and them always cutting away as soon as they're about to show Kimono Wanalea. And which, yeah. which, which I'm reminded about with Duke and Doe's hardcore memories mm-hmm. on in, on the Indie Wrestling Network. If we get to what was it? We get two hundred subscribers. We're going to call Kimona Wanalea and see if she'll dance atop the Sorgatron Media Studios. She totally would. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know why we got the pair to do it, but I, I, I would probably pay it just because. Just so you just, can say that you did it. Just on principle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll pitch in for it. Ronnie, for Ronnie, I'll give you I ten bucks to dance it. on top of the studio. Is sure, there? We, we can I get up there? The, there? I don't know. We, we need. A, we were talking about ladders uh, on we, the we other shows. All so. the Patreon money for that. We could. There you go. Patreons, do you want to see me dance atop the Soulja <laughs> Trump Media Studio? No, 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 no. Hey, patrons, patrons, don't pay to see Ronnie dance. Do you want to see me dance? <laughs> do not pay to see Ronnie you dance. Do you want to see me dance? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, speaking of that, Hardcore Memories is one of the things uh, coming up on uh, the Indie Wrestling uh, Network. Uh, we we actually did I, I did put out the the from the vault the the super secret uh, episode ten uh from uh, uh their recordings a few months ago so you can go check that out as well as episode three of waffles with women including uh the the artist formerly known as jinx as part of that <laughs> <laughs> so i mean that's that's kind of her thing uh <laughs> so a, a lot of that plus uh rise wrestling and stop out cancer three a part of that uh the uh a memorial show uh these man's memorial show from the week before uh all, all of these things i'm mentioning by the way have ronnie starks involved somehow uh, I have, we had a lot of wrestling. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. It's <laughs> a lot going on there. There's a lot going on there. Uh, you know, Rise Wrestling. Um, um, uh, what else is on there? <laughs> uh, From the Ashes, the Sean Phoenix uh, tribute show is on there. Yes, I finally finished it, and uh, in its entirety, because I know we have a lot of clips on YouTube as well. Is is over there? I wasn't um, booked. You weren't booked. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. So I need to put a little book, Ronnie. There we go. We just need to make so you can just have a personal like Ronnie Stark's tribute to Sean Phoenix. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I I like the guy. Actually, I apparently I was booked and no one told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, nice. I I was actually supposed to uh, keep Sean Phoenix out of trouble on the show. Okay. So every time he got involved, I was like going to throw violations. Oh. I have to drag him out. Oh, I found that out the day after the show at Fight Society that I was actually supposed to be on that show. <laughs> I was like, did nobody want to text me or call me to let me know I was actually just on the show? Presume you'd be around. You're just always around. Yeah, they're like, well, we just thought you were going to show up. I'm like, well, <laughs> not, not if I'm not scheduled to be there. Yeah, it's like you don't want to impose, right? Yeah, I'd be like, hey guys, I'm booked today. You know, just kind of show up. Hashtag book Ronnie. Ronnie. Book me. <laughs> A lot of uh, stuff going on there. And, of course, over at IndieWrestling.us, we got our friends at Revenge Pro. And as we're about to talk about a little bit, Fight Society and Angel Gate uh, on there as well. Uh, a lot of content. That list keeps growing. And it's... There's a chat. There was a chat. 
There's a message in the chat room. Let me see if I can pull that up there. Um, do, 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 do. Which which message am I looking for? I don't know if I'm loading right. Ty Cross. Ty Cross? Oh, wow. Who is that guy? Uh, <laughs> Did he get his chickens crossed? Who is crossed? that? Uh, and you can also see Ty Cross in his underwear incident from Saturday night. Uh, you can see Jinx's that last sounds, match as a part that of that. That sounds like literally the worst combination of words ever put in Well, sentence. you're going to have to subscribe to IndieWrestling.network to uh, decide whether you really wanted to see that or not. Um, I also debuted at Rise on Saturday. Yeah, you can see Ronnie, Ronnie Stark's debut in Rise from Saturday. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Just, you know, just throwing it there. There you go. But not, the underwear incident, though. Not, not were, they, were they clean underwear or were they... Uh, uh, I wasn't. I mean, did, did he pull them straight from his ass I'm crack? Still and not sure. I've reviewed every angle of the footage. I don't know where the underwear actually came from. Like, I don't have visual evidence of where uh, uh, the Louis the Nerd's underwear came from. I mean, he is a nerd. Do you think he practices magic? Like, is he a magic nerd? Yeah. Is he? I mean, he's a nerd, nerd. You know, but do you think he like yeah, practices magic? No, I'm talking about like actual like pull a rabbit out of my fucking hat. No, that's like a different gimmick. Oh, is it? <laughs> I think so. Well, nerds, nerds like uh, uh, stuff like what? that, right? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't. Hey, nerds like things. That's what we learned today. Hey, you right? nerds, I mean... do you like stupid stuff? <laughs> Jeez. Um, the guy wearing the Venom shirt uh, right now. <laughs> by the way, talk about calling the kettle black. Don't you, don't you have a Ninja Turtles tattoo or something over uh, there? Power Rangers tattoo. Power Rangers. That's yeah. right. That's one I know. Green Ranger. Day. Yeah. There you go. Uh, partners letting us know the uh, the underwear incident. It was uh, life changing live. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> That's just what he said. It was life changing and live. It was life changing. You know, there in person. Not all life changing events are good. <laughs> well, was it? Is it gonna haunt my dreams when I watch the video again? Like, yeah, probably. Where did that underwear it's come like, from? It's like the ring. <laughs> where uh, the little girl just comes out of the TV, the underwear just somehow magically appeared from the TV screen. <laughs> and you're like, where does underwear come from? From my ass. <laughs> Either way, uh, it, 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 you too can check out the magic of indie wrestling, indie wrestling.network. Um, wow. Wow. We got sidetracked, didn't we? You know, that's what this show is. This show getting sidetracked? No. Did you, did you listen last night? I mean, how much wrestling did we actually talk about with Nick? <laughs> wrestling? I, I didn't realize Nick was on until, like, I, I posted wrestling. And then, like, I stopped watching it. And I came back on. I'm like, where the fuck Nick come from? <laughs> it's like, why, why is Nick in the studio at 1130 at night? What the, what's going yeah, on here? He's, he doesn't live too far. It was like, yeah, come it's on over, That's because he watched wrestling and he prepared for the show. That's like, right. He did. Because he sat through. He sat here yeah. through three hours, except did for... He? We went over and got tacos and missed the entire Bray Wyatt segment. Oh, there's tacos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just because he's a fellow ginger doesn't mean he could try to take my job. Oh. Nick. You mm. fake ginger right. Nick. Whoa. 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 Jeez. Just because neither of you have souls doesn't mean you can <laughs> throw around shit like that. Oh, I have a soul, man. I have a soul. Oh, jeez. I don't have a soul. <laughs> oh, jeez. <but. laughs> I don't know how I'm going to like how you tried to convince yourself and you're like, no, like, no. it's like, no, it's no. like that promo I did on Saturday where I was just like, uh, I can't wait to leave this building, but I'm from here. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't wait to leave this building and go five minutes home. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was like, ha ha ha. It's true. He is from here. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. it was a nice swerve though. It was. <laughs> I was just like, I, I almost got lost in my own promo. I was like, oh, wait, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm with this kid today. <laughs> you forgot to plug the kid. I didn't know I plugged him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, you're you're I, about to. I was plugging myself, and then I was like, oh, yeah, the great can, Alexander. Can we please not use the phrase plug the kid? Whoa. Can we, can this, we please not use that phrase? That just sounds terrible. Look, this this, isn't, out this isn't Pee Wee Herman and Macaulay Culkin. I'm not plugging the kid. What the hell? <laughs> I think you're confusing Pee Wee Herman and Michael Jackson. Oh, wait. No, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Michael Jackson, yeah. No, Pee Wee Herman was the one in the Pee theater. Pee Wee Herman just like porn. Yeah. You, you say potato, I say potato. Yeah. I don't know. You say potato, I say Pee Wee Herman? 
I am. <laughs> you say potato, so, I say plug the kid. So I got my chickens crossed. It's what, all right. What are we talking about? I'm not even putting that on the TV I, anymore. The chickens are we in don't... my head for the rest of the day. Though. Oh, no. They're just, they're just there. Oh, I no. hear chickens in my head. They're... They, bark, bark, bark. they cross the road. They they bark, cross bark, bark. the road. <laughs> Let's bring it around. Scarlet's here, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. Scarlet, thank you for. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you're regretting being here by now. No. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, uh, you're a part, of course, of Angel Gate Wrestling here uh, in McKeesport. Uh, I'm going to be live on a pay-per-view this weekend. Um, and you've been part of that in Fight Society for a good long time here. Um, you have had some pretty uh, 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 big battles with, I don't know if everybody out there is familiar with Max the Impaler, mm-hmm. who's been getting around. Basically, imagine um, just a side character from Mad Max and just destroying things in the ring uh that's <laughs> what uh you've been having some pretty uh uh i guess uh, since we mentioned them before slobber knockers with her lately mm, yes yes yeah <laughs> yeah max is a whole different breed really mm-hmm. so being in the ring with her you have to be on your toes at all times mm-hmm. and that's something i haven't done mm-hmm. lately i guess but you know i'm regrouping i'm rethinking thinking about it yeah uh, we're going to talk about with you more on indie mayhem show about your background and stuff <laughs> or you guys yeah. later uh but in in the in the meantime um like you're 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 only like about a year in, into wrestling right mm-hmm. uh what, what is it like to be what does it mean to be part of uh, something that's like a, a an all women's promotion like this because there's not a lot of ladies in the pittsburgh area it seems yeah um it's very exciting actually it's very um I feel very privileged mm. to be in it. I like um it's it's like being in something special. You know it's special because it's it's new. It's it's a woman's promotion that I don't I haven't heard of any women's promotions in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Like personally. Like when I started wrestling, but um it's it's something different, man. It's it's something different. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and of course, you're part of Fight Society. I think you've been in a few matches with Ronnie involved, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I, I think I, you guys have had a couple of incidents with each uh, other, right? I, I oh, almost yeah. won the tag titles, but she. Oh, don't, she, don't, she, don't, she, don't, she kind of she kinda cock blocked me on that one. <laughs> 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 like, legit. Like, I was about to win, then all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, I was like, oh, okay, I guess I lost now. Uh huh. You were in my way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Scarlet, Scarlet, I approve of you preventing Ronnie from getting a tag team championship. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, I don't approve. Mad Mike approves the further cock blocking of uh, Ronnie Starks and Golden uh, Fight Society, apparently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so you, you guys got some pretty cool stuff going on there in uh, in Fight Society. And, and again, that's kind of a different promotion, too, mm-hmm. um, where you do get to mix it up with a lot of the guys. I mean, Mostly, I think everything's been intergender down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. It's fun. Um, it's fun because I train with a lot of guys, you mm-hmm. know, so it's it's easier, but it's not it's not easier, I would say. It's, it's more... You got to be on, like I said with Max, you got to be on your toes, man. I don't know. You always got to have your head on a swivel, mm-hmm. especially at Fight Society. But, you know, I, I just roll with it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, for those those that don't know, you know, real quick, kind of uh, let people know kind of what Scarlet's about in the ring. And again, we'll go more into this on the Andy Mayhem show later. <laughs> All right. Scarlet's, Scarlet's a bruiser, man. She does what she wants. Mm-hmm. Um. I can't really control her, I'll say. Like, sometimes she goes off the handle, and it's 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 a mess, really. But most <laughs> of the time, she has a focus. She knows her goal, mm-hmm. and she goes for it. But I don't know. Like, sometimes, sometimes she gets a little crazy. It gets a little wild, I'll say. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a, a very, a very dark character, a very wild mm-hmm. character. And we're showing a little bit of uh, one of your promo videos coming up here uh, mm-hmm. for the video guys uh, here. And I, and I believe it, did, did, I understand. Did you do this video yourself? Yes. That's awesome. Oh, thanks. That was a really cool vibe to it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been working on a lot of things with mm-hmm. um, my trainers and everything, how to get better, you know. But this was something I thought of myself. Mm-hmm. And you know it's all about Max, and it still is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you have, again, iPay-Per-View this weekend. You guys can go check mm-hmm. it out. It's part of the IndieWrestling.us uh, live. You can check out the iPay-Per-View tab over on IndieWrestling.us for information. Uh, but you are, uh, at the moment, uh, tagged to to uh, uh, take on uh, Portia, yeah. I believe, Saturday. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and I know you, you're kind of gathering up a, a little bit of a faction here uh, yourself, getting, getting mm-hmm. in with uh, uh, Queen Amanada. Yes, yes, yes. That is my queen. She She knows what's best. Have you learned any new languages from her? No, but you know when she's going and she's going off, you you kind of understand what she's <laughs> saying most of the time. You're like, you know, she's going off in as many languages as she can, mm-hmm. and it's just like, yeah, one hundred percent. It's the most multilingual insulting that I've ever heard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it's great. Though. Yeah, Ronnie, I know you've heard some of that too. I have. Yeah, probably, probably, <laughs> probably directly. Yeah. <laughs> The last show I did, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, so what what, we, what can we expect from uh, uh you this uh, Saturday, Scarlett? Oh, I'm here to set an example, basically. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's two losses, right? Mm-hmm. Two in a row. That's unacceptable. And I just got to prove to everyone, you know who I am. I know who she is. And I'm here to set, I'm just here to set the standard. That's it. Awesome. Looking forward to that. Say, if you haven't checked those out, uh, it, your matches with Max are some of the, the brutal, most brutal <laughs> women's matches I think I've seen yeah. in a while. Uh, Ronnie, I don't know if you say, you were, I think you were there for a couple of them, mm-hmm. right? They were, they, were, they were pretty vicious and a lot of fun. I, 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 Missy knows when I'm, when I'm edit, post-editing some of these matches, there, there's a lot of, uh, of, of uh, noises. <laughs> when I'm just like, oh, shit, that looked rough. Yeah. Uh, and or even when we're live on the on the call there. Uh, so looking forward to see what's coming uh, from that. And again, we'll be talking more with you. And I'm glad you're here on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Where, where can people find you online? Um, you can find me at um, underscore three underscores dot I'm Scarlet on Instagram or the same thing everywhere. Basically, it's I'm Scarlet Pro Wrestler. It's like it's like it's like pause, pause, pause. Yes, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Because I am always solid. It's dramatic. Dramatic. Dramatic effect. <laughs> dramatic Twitter handle. Yes. Out there. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Fantastic. Gotta let them know. Gotta let them know. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. And again, yeah. check it out. Angel Gate Wrestling is uh, this Saturday, August 24th, 7 p.m. And we'll be going live with that. We also have a little bit of a live pre-show on the uh, Angel Gate and likely IndieWrestling.us uh, Facebook pages. So tune in for that. You can get a little preview of what's coming up there or some past episode footage. Um, or we have a program for the night there. So look out for that. Uh, also, I, while we're at that, I also want to let you guys know about our good friends here. If you're in town here, we, uh, of course, try to feed our guests hanging out here through the dinner time on podcast night, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our friends of slice on Broadway and Beachview, Carnegie Easton and PNC park. I see Ronnie nodding his head. He's like, yeah, I'm down with that pizza. Mm-hmm. I'm ruining my diet. That's right. <laughs> That's what's happening. I know Tuesdays is my cheat day. <laughs> 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 and uh you can check, check them out if you're in town and i know a lot of people out there i'm looking at people in the chat room uh in california in the northwest in kansas city and if you wherever you may be obviously they were one location when they started here with us uh mayhem bump hashtag mayhem bump by the way uh now there are four locations and uh we want to help that global expansion so wherever you are if you have a broadway avenue in your town just take a picture of that Broadway Avenue, please, ha- please, please tag at PGH underscore slice on the Twitter and say, I want a slice on my Broadway. So please go do that. Check it out. And uh, thank you to them for supporting uh, our podcasting ventures here on the wrestling mayhem show and the indie wrestling in a sense as well. Actually support a lot of indie wrestlers with pizza a little bit. So uh, through the years, uh, we will be back with the big question After this message, you're going to hear Katie for a moment. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Ronnie, if you say am I booked again, the first time I see you, I'm going to throw a book at you. I thought thought this was the gimmick where I just asked him I'm booked on everything. (laughs) It is. is. Maybe we need a new gimmick. (laughs) No, it's perfect. You already have like a new gimmick. No, I no because I said listen. Ronnie can only ask if he's booked. 
if he's on a fucking trampoline. Well, Ronnie also has a new gimmick where he wears too many layers of clothes. Why to be they... fair, Sorg, I think we all wear too many layers of The clothes. fans asked me to take my shirt off. Are you serious? Did you, not, did you not hear that, that I heard chant? that. I heard that. The t- they were like, take your shirt off. I'm like, what? Like I, it was a Springdale show that did that, right? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I ain't taking my shirt. Ronnie, off. Ronnie, next time they chant that, just scream back, "No, no money, no honey." No, <laughs> no money, no honey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hit that porn star music. I'm taking my clothes off. <laughs> this is how we lose the building, guys. <laughs> like, just scream, sign up to my premium Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants their porn hub achievements? <laughs> Oh, we are back with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm using all of that. And it is time for the big question, which is not how do you respond when somebody tells you to get to, to take your shirt off. You know, I was asked to take my shirt off this weekend, too. Who, who asked you to take I was in the off? locker room and I said, Sorg, take your shirt. I didn't even know Toad told me that. But it was, I was just like, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. And I walked out. Somebody's awkwardly asking us all to take our shirts off. This is weird. It's not me. It's not Missy. It's definitely not Missy. It's no, definitely Missy a- demands. Missy demands. Missy, I love you, but I'm not taking my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not with Sorg in the room. Um. Okay. All right. Uh. So uh, that is that's uncomfortable. So, Mad Mike, <laughs> let's bring it back around. Scarlet's still here too. <laughs> yeah. Questioning, Hi. questioning life choices. <laughs> High five and Ronnie. She, she's never gonna come back again. No. No. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> 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 Mad Mike, what's the big question? All right. That's how so we the, do this. The big Segway. questions, since we are talking about the upcoming uh, Wednesday Night War, also known as the Midweek War. Ooh, See, you get, you're getting there. You're getting like, there. You're closer. getting closer. I'm yeah. getting there. It wasn't wasn't full board. I, I tried not to. I didn't want to psych myself up for it. Okay, I'm feeling um, better. I might not have to call in Krista Joseph. Yeah. All right. So uh, AEW has already advertised what I would assume to be their main event. Mm-hmm. Um, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks versus Chris Jericho and two partners of his choosing. Um, Obviously, that, it's going to be um, Ralphus and... And the Jericho-holic ninja. Yes. yes. Also known as LAX. I, I'm guessing. Ooh. I'm guessing. That's I, my guess. I swear if it ends up being LAX. <laughs> That's awesome. my guess. It makes wow. sense to me. It makes sense to me. It also could be SCU. Who knows? It might be SCU. Um, but uh, so that is their advertised, I'm assuming, main event for their show. So if you were running NXT, mm-hmm. the big question, what main event do you book to counteract that? So if you were in the nose of Triple H, who would you book? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a big schnoz to be in. Wow. That's a big, wow, nose. That's that, a big nose to fill. I, I just pictured... Fam- the family double dare, and I can't unsee that anymore. Uh, <laughs> so I got the match. The for giant you. nose right. on double dare. All right, go ahead. Uh, the yeah. returning Tommaso Ciampa versus Adam Cole. Ooh. Oh, baby! Ooh. <laughs> for the title. Mm-hmm. For the title. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a so- well, that's a solid. I was gonna have uh, Tommaso and Johnny Gargo. Gargano ready to match. That's where I was. Or a triple threat match for the title. By the way, uh, Champa did tweet, and there was a video. Like I did not get a chance to listen to the video, unfortunately, because of where I was. But it was uh, about, hey, uh, NXT on USA, and he has two words for you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the, he'll be back. Mm-hmm. He'll be back. Okay. He'll be back okay. soon. On TV. So, he'll be great. Right. Uh, Scarlett, what yeah. would you book? Um, I'm thinking, actually. I think... I will want to do something with Champa returning. Mm-hmm. But we I'm, all want Champa. Yeah, yeah. Really, let's I get know. the Champa. I don't know though. I'm, I'm. Uh, if it's you either need Adam to Cole or Tomas, it's either Adam Cole or Gargano, right? Yeah. They might do a triple threat match. Yeah, triple really threat. Uh, that would make okay. sense. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That could be. That we can, could be. We can all agree all right. that yeah. uh, Champa is the greatest heel. <laughs> okay. In the past like five years <laughs> in professional wrestling. I got mine. Mm-hmm. DIY and the Street Profits against the Undisputed Era. Wait, do the Street Profits really need to be put in that? Uh, yes, 
Mm, yes. They, yes. Because getting- no, because the Street Profits are an athletic as hell tag team, charismatic as hell, and also have well, been on Raw. So, so this is what we were talking about last night a little bit with the Street Profits. You've all been introduced to the Street Profits, like you all raw watching people that maybe don't watch NXT, right? Mm-hmm. We know Street Profits can have killer matches. Yep. You haven't yeah. even seen them wrestle yet. Mm-hmm. And people are over with the Street Profits on Raw. Exactly. Right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's that's like perfect. Yeah. So, who knows? And, and uh, plus, P- Tommaso, uh, Ciampa, and Gargano have also been on Raw. Yeah. Yeah. They have also been on Raw. It was brief, but they have also been on there. So, you get people like... Oh, I remember those guys. They were pretty good. And I like the Street Profits. I've never seen them wrestle. But what is this faction where they're all doing U and E with their hands? What is that going on? <laughs> and I've heard people scream Bebe for some reason. I'd like to watch that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do have some things from the chat room. Okay. Yeah. Wait, can you turn the mic on? You have a mic? We don't I have, a, you have a thing on here. Why, why don't you have a mic? It's hooked up over here. And she's just yelling from across the room. Yeah, yeah, that is a mic stand without a microphone. We need to fire Where mic. does we need to fire that intern? He's he's fired. Any rate, she says. Dave Potter says. He called that um, match before Mad Mike. Hey, you know what, well, Dave? I wasn't reading the chat room, so I was about to. Kyle Turner says Champa versus Pete Dunn. And all right, all right, and Dave, you said undisputed versus street pro. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, you, you, did, you did say the yeah, okay. That's fine. I thought he said two separate matches. I'm like, that's not how this works. Tina says AJ Styles and Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano and Shawn Michaels. Don't hold um, your breath, Tina. No, uh, Tina, I, I, that, that, that doesn't seem like uh, plausible. Yeah, that, yeah, no. yeah, I would go back to a main event. Uh, a main roster snippet that happened a few weeks ago. I know. I still don't think that's a possibility. I, I don't right? think we're, getting, I, I we're don't not think... getting Sean wrestling. No, think. if you're getting Sean wrestling, it's going to be at a show that you will you feel uncomfortable yeah. watching. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. somewhere in parts unknown in the desert. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> I stopped watching that show once I saw Sean wrestle. I'm like, okay, I'm done here. Yeah, right. yeah, it was tough. Unfortunately, that was the main event. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I stopped watching it when it was done. Oh uh, boy, they really let's got see. Me better over barrel on that one. Adam Cole Champa <laughs> from Chris. Uh, let's see, Champa's back to bring Goldie home. Yeah, this is. It's gonna be. Ah, man, are we at peak wrestling? I Are we so. there yet? I mean, I mean, can we get more? I think possibly? we will be in October. We will be in October. I mean, that's yeah. that's a lot of wrestling. Like, in one week. like, like this is the question. Like, is it just going to keep going? Will this last, or is this going to fizzle in a year? Yeah, it's going to fizzle. And fizzle as in like it'll contract. Sort of. Well, we've been saying that about TNA. And what <laughs> we've been we've been saying that about TNA that they'll be done. Within a year, like five years ago, yeah, and got, right, and they're a whole different, and they're yeah. still going. They're a whole different thing right now. They're they're they're, they're a whole different thing right now. They are now. still going. So I don't think yeah. as long as there's money mm-hmm. to back this, mm-hmm. as long as the people doling out the money don't get bored or sidelined by football. Um, and this is and speaking know. of speaking of peak, peak wrestling, and I, I I brought this I brought this up off air. Um, but Tina uh, reminds us that we have a night where there's going to be NXT UK Cardiff takeover. I think I got all the words. New Japan Royal Quest and AEW is all out on the mm-hmm. same day. Let yep. that sink in for uh, uh, as a wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. So I got if, all day to watch wrestling. If, yeah. And you're probably booked on a show because, by the way, hashtag book Ronnie. I want to go to Japan. <laughs> There you go. You can be on a, a flight uh, uh, with uh, 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 Lee Moriarty and uh, no. Wait, is Lee Lee going to Japan? Or I mean, he has one day. Let's be honest about this. He will one day. Yeah. Yes, and you'll you'll go with him. I you'll will... be his. Uh, you'll be you'll be his handler. Lee, you'll be like Shirley Doe when he's keeping an eye on uh, Balls Mahoney. <laughs> 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 Boy, that does not sound like a fun. He's walk. told those stories on the show. They didn't. They were not pretty. 
Please. That sounds like the fucking Night's Watch. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry about Lee passing out on Soma's on the plane, I'm sure. I'm not going to handle your bowls, Lee, but, uh, <laughs> but take me to Japan with you. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, man, that is that is some... some Jeez. Because we're still... They, they're not done, man. We, we, nope. we saw that little... You know, we were talking a little bit earlier. I really should do an ad before we get into this. Um, if it, if producer Missy says we're doing an ad, so... I was like, we're speaking of peak wrestling. Let's talk about <laughs> not wrestling for a moment, and then hopefully I remember my thought when we come back. Um, because evolve, I want to talk about evolve when we come back. Mad Mike, okay, help me with that. Uh, yes. Because we do a lot of stuff around here, like professional wrestling, <laughs> like sporting events, like a music video we just did this past week, which by the way had the Rev's head. So <laughs> that brings you back to wrestling, anyways. Is there a Rev's head in here somewhere? Um, it's in the car. Is it in the car? Producer Messi? Yeah. Okay. We we should probably retrieve Rev's head. Mm. That's a weird sentence. Uh, but anyways, we do a lot of stuff here at, you know, amongst the team at Sidekick Media Services. And we got you covered as a sidekick to your superhero project. What next big thing can we help you with? Us, Producer Messi, the Dutters. All doing some great stuff with media, social media, and our great team of videographers helping us out with projects as well. Maybe you've seen some of their footage here on the show. Uh, go check out, find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And I just got an email. Oh, that's you guys checking it out. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, anyways, um, Evolve. Yes. So I, I kind of had the question of like, hey, where do, where did like the young the young NXTers? get the easy big oven for a little bit longer um, before they get on like primetime television on USA network. The answer is evolve, isn't it? Uh, that's where the street profits were for a little bit. Yeah. Is that where we like get the development? You think it's become essentially like the development for NXT. That's not the performance. Center. It kind of has, or does default just roll into the performance center at some point? Uh, I mean, yeah, and, and now you see Austin Theory coming over like he's a new NXT signee. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it, I think it does. It work. is happening. So that that is like an extra. So WWE development is now like an onion that there's these multiple layers. Okay. Onion layers. Way. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, that's, jeez. So so, and and this is a lot of between the UK and the Evolve and the NXT. They, 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 I mean, WWE's kind of playing this game of sucking the air out of the wrestling alternatives for a while. I'm sorry. We have a Rev head now. And uh, hi, Rev. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. What do you think about Evolve? It's great. They should book me. <laughs> yep, that sounds like Rev. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds exactly <laughs> like Rev. <laughs> Hashtag Jesus Club. <laughs> I love oh, Rev. Boy. Rev is legit one of my favorite people. Absolutely. I love this dude. But um, I, I don't know what point I was getting at because now I'm distracted. Please, somebody bail me out here. Scarlet. No, I mean... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so. I lost the point, too. I mean, I was, I was like, <laughs> like, like, as soon as that came in, I'm like, oh, gosh. Oh, it's boy. Um, like Evolve has kind of oh, become yeah. the breeding ground for NXT a little mm -hmm. bit. And especially if NXT is going live, mm -hmm. you won't need a bigger roster now, necessarily, because I think their roster is pretty okay. Mm -hmm. But... With more exposure mm -hmm. on NXT on USA, you're probably going to get more call ups. See, and that's, that's mm -hmm. something I know we've mentioned that with other people been on the show lately. But I mean, Scarlett, Ronnie, I mean, you, you mm -hmm. guys are working regularly with people like ROH Dojo people. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, there, you know, not only is there like these in points to WWE, but there's other things to get better in the meantime, too, too, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that has to be like exciting to be in your positions, too. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? where you could go we're getting to work with a lot of great people mm -hmm. it's great yeah a lot of experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean you, your brains. i say you've seen a lot coming through the door oh yeah the past year down there oh yeah it's been fun <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this has been like the highlight of my professional career is all the stuff going on working with all these people oh i thought you were gonna say the rev head no this is the this is my professional experience <laughs> hey roddy <laughs> Yeah, because it seems like it seems like a, you know once a month or two, like there's somebody that with, from an ROH or ROH dojo, mm -hmm. so, or or a trainer or or a seminar coming through town here, you know that that kind of enhances that that I always say like kind of Pittsburgh has like I can't think of another region 
that can have this strong of, of talent mm -hmm. going on. I mean, geez, look at Friday night with Stomp Out Cancer. That was a good right? show. I mean, in, to see that, like the majority of that was Pittsburgh talent, mm -hmm. some Chikara in Cleveland sprinkled in there, and I don't know, somebody from New Japan, I wherever that is, uh chase owens chase owens you know i mean i, I mean it's just chase owens guys <laughs> so i mean he also said it was the worst town he's ever been in so yeah i don't know where i heard that from before but yeah uh, yeah that sounds familiar it does sound familiar but um but no i mean it, it, it's it's there's something really cool happening there and it, it, it seems like and it seems like it's not a large jump anymore to get to any of those but I don't know, just because it seems like so many people are getting scooped up by them lately. <laughs> you know, between all those or people going to ROH Dojo and, and everything, too. So, mm -hmm. but um, I, we're in a fortunate, I think, geographical location, too. I think so. the sky's the limit at this point. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on, a lot of great talent. Mm -hmm. Eventually, a few of those great talent are going to get picked up mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. And, lot, and, and probably have a good thing for the promotions. Like we were talking about in the last few weeks of some of these larger promotions are kind of going away. Mm hmm. Which there's also an air to fill there too, right? Because while there's plenty on NA, our WWE network, even with NXT popping up to uh, USA, like people are kind of clamoring for alternatives still, mm -hmm. or this has opened them up to look into other places. So mm -hmm. I'm I feel like there's a million pivot shares out there, and they all seem to be doing something out there. So be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, let me check real quick here. Anything else, Mike, uh, from this week? Uh, we do have a lot, some questions in the in the chat room too. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to bring up some. Mm. Um, so so sort. Do you know Stephen Amell, right? The, the I am aware of the Arrow, the Green Arrow. I also did. Yes. I also did uh, just rewatch the second Ninja Turtles movie and forgot he was in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Casey Jones. Yes. Um, and he is. He is. Um, he's okay in it. He's fine. Uh, fun the, fact: I uh, my car is named Ollie. Yeah, it's true. Okay, yeah. is it green? It is green. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. I approve, Ronnie. Thank you. Um, so he's he's a bit of a wrestling fan. A little he's, bit. He's one of the only people to have a WWE pay per view match and AEW pay per view match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Technically true. Um. Yeah, and um, more or less, yeah. And uh, the show Arrow is coming to an end this upcoming fall mm -hmm. into winter, so uh, he kind of gets to do whatever he wants because he's had a very successful run on Arrow. Mm -hmm. And what he wants to do is apparently create a show for I believe it's stars called Heels. He is going to create a wrestling drama show. About an independent promotion, I believe it's in Georgia, where Stephen Amell plays one brother that runs the promotion, and a yet unnamed person plays his brother, and they run a wrestling promotion together. And I think it's going to be real interesting. That's so. It also you got to think we're we're coming off of uh, Glow is really successful. Mm -hmm. You know, on top of the multiple glows, glows getting Emmy nods. Yeah, like, glows yeah. So it's like, hey, you know, we're coming off a world where the wrestler was a thing that existed. We were, uh -huh. and Mickey Rourke was robbed. Yeah, yeah. He so, was robbed. So was the Necro Butcher. Obviously, yes. Yes, there was a really, I had a really good conversation with somebody the other day about the Necro Butcher in that movie. So, <laughs> but. uh <laughs> Uh, somebody that was a good friend with uh, 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 Necro, which is a weird, just a guy named Necro. <laughs> but anyway, it's wrestling, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, wrestling. Yeah. yeah but, that, um, but Stephen Amell also tweeted to Cody Rhodes, mm -hmm. Hey, Cody, would you like to help me make a TV show? Mm -hmm. So Cody Rhodes, like, I don't think there was a response, but so, if I'm Cody Rhodes and I want to help promote AEW, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be involved in this in any way Somebody I can. Somebody slid into the DMs after that, I bet. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that probably happened, yeah. Mm -hmm. Either that, or they had already talked beforehand, and that's just teasing the fans. A little Maybe bit of wink, bit. wink, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. Yes, Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. what? Who's Bob? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, Brutal, Brutal Bob? No, I got through it. No, no. no? It, it, never mind. Okay. But yeah, uh, so, so I just saw that. 
I thought that was really interesting, and I'm a big fan of it. And who knows? We may even have Heels cast after its premieres. I don't know. Heels cast. Count Heels me cast. Jeez. We might. We might. Why not? The time. The time. Just time, man. Mm-hmm. I'm what so, a time to be a wrestling fan. What a time, indeed. Unless you're Jim Cornette, because fuck oh, that guy. Oh, God, what did he do lately? Uh, he called Jordan Grace a butterface because he's oh, a fucking idiot. But Jordan, but Jordan Grace, because she is fucking awesome, she made a shirt that has her name written on it, crossed out in red pen. She wrote butterface. She said, it rhymes, so I made a shirt. And she's donating all the proceeds of that to a che- to a teachers union that's a- that's local by her. So Jordan Grace again, awesome. Jim Cornette again, a scumbag. That's a, you know, and that's that's something you know we've we talked about this a little bit about like that positivity in wrestling, you know, mm-hmm. and that's happened a lot. I feel locally, you know, thanks to things like Stomp Out Cancer, mm-hmm. and I, I feel like Rise is a really you know just the vibe that those guys give off is a really good um a really good uh uh. T- Corners, I don't know, a turning point for that. I'm not, that's not the word that I'm, I'm looking for, but um, you know, and, and I like to see that it's happening on that level too, right? It's not yeah. just a bunch of people yelling at each other, um, you know, or, you know, the RJ cities are having fun with stuff like that, right? And uh, Ethan Page is kind of hitting the trolls with stuff too. Uh, poor Jimmy Carderis, he he deals with so much shit on Twitter. Like and you see him retweet people and, and bury them, like it's it's, but but generally like, it's been mostly positive and people kind of fighting back to trolls a bit, right? Mm-hmm. And and I think that's that's better for wrestling in general. So, well, guys, there's a lot of wrestling going on. I want to give a shout out. Uh, one way, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, you got to keep track of that stuff. And somebody has somebody messaged and said, "Hey, hey, is there wrestling?" Actually, somebody messaged me and said, "Hey, is there wrestling this weekend?" And I was like, yes, actually, there's a lot. Um, there's a few shows. Going there's on a few there. shows. One's a women's show, so I don't think you're getting booked, sir. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'll be there, though. But you'll be there. You'll be there. Be uh, there. Book Ron- Brooke Ronnie for uh, intergender wrestling on the women's pay per view. I mean, you want to cancel on your match? Where you go? <laughs> man, we'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you heard it here first. Ronnie right? has just... heard that before from women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Wow. Story of my life, rejection. We'll start the feud. We'll start the feud now. It's going down. <laughs> Scarlet, Scarlet versus Ronnie for uh, Angel Gate next month. Uh, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> or maybe Fight Society. We still got Fight Society coming up. What, September 13th? We got, we I mean, that, that can definitely happen there. Well, we have we have a new guy in our group now. You have a new guy in your group. You got uh, a big guy. Yeah. Uh, shit. What are we calling? Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought his name was Matt. No, that's that's his, that's his real name. Oh, man. okay. I don't know, man. You K- kayfabe. That's his shoot name, brother. Kayfabe, brother. I don't know. Security guy number one. No. I don't know. Uh, collateral. Is it, no. What the hell are we calling? I don't know. You don't know his name. Collateral cruciate ligament. No. <laughs> it, 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 it was something punny that made sense. Uh, something we... policy. Some, some. We're, we're sorry, guys. Are either you... way, either way, there's a new member of your group. Uh, yeah. Uh, Isha to make sure policy? to make yeah. sure Scarlet doesn't slap you again. No, he's he's awesome though. He is he is six, six foot something, two hundred and something. I don't know. He's a big dude. Wow, yeah. that's that's a big range. Loss prevention. Loss prevention. Loss prevention. Loss prevention. You, you named a guy loss prevention. Yeah, oh, it's boy. funny because we have new gear that we're gonna have. Oh, okay, because he prevents you from losing. Yeah. So uh, I get have, it. Okay. Have, <laughs> all right. We have, I, we have new I, gear. I approve. Yeah, I approve. Th- thank you. He, I approve great. of that. That's good. Yeah. Don't don't call him by his real name, man. What I don't know. They, they, they have a thing. I do. He doesn't have a gimmick. If it's, if it's on the paper, I think that's the name. I had to do the titles and. and so so. Anyways, <laughs> it's just like, it's just, it's, don't worry, we'll fix it going. in post. Yeah, it, we'll, we'll just, fix it in post. Yeah, no, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. We don't have a post. It's, this whole <laughs> thing's already <laughs> happening. Anyways, you can find out when that is at pittsburghwrestling.com. <laughs> <laughs> a couple weeks. Uh, in two, a couple. Two weeks. Find out how two Ronnie weeks. gets his loss prevented this week. Right, Friday the thirteenth. 
Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I'm making so many terrible jokes on Friday the Thirteenth. Somebody's got my album with a with a. With I, a I'm literally giving a violation to uh, Jason Voorhees on Friday the 13th. Mm-hmm. You should just... Scarlet should just stalk people. Yes. On Friday the 13th. Like, just everything is just like her stalking people in the in the halls of the of the battlegrounds. I love how... I think it'd be better to have Scarlet be like, 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 <laughs> oh, nobody can oh, hear you. Nobody we're can hear these ideas. Oh, we're talking about a hockey mask. We're talking about rainbow scarlet and, and stuff uh, off camera. Wearing a hockey mask while doing it. Did, yeah, did but you we're take a swim in the uh, Lake of Reincarnation? The Camp Crystal <laughs> God, Lake of no. Reincarnation. Wonderful. Not yet. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the Camp Crystal Lake of the Reincarnation. Camp Crystal. Oh my God. <laughs> Make them remember what fear tastes like. <laughs> you, you really should have someone come out to. Ch- 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 well, Ice Nine Kills has that Thank God It's Friday song out right now. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> Rebecca Black. What? Rebecca Black? Oh, I thought I thought that's the Friday song you meant. No. Uh, it's Friday. 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 <laughs> get down on Friday. Uh, that, was the, that was the rejected theme song for Friday Night Fight Nights. <laughs> Why was that rejected? It that's was a talked great about. Idea. It was talked about. <laughs> it was talked about. <laughs> You gotta get down on Friday. Nobody wanted to get down with that song on Friday. Oh, That's a shame. But then again, somebody did play Baby Shark for like five minutes straight one day. Oh. When we got to the building, all I heard was Baby Shark. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it was bad. Yeah, yeah. Don't find like it's not doing Friday. At least I didn't get stuck. This is the song that does. And moving on. So, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh boy! Uh, or recently, mm-hmm. uh, I, well, I got one. I got one. Mike's got one. I learned um, that Drake Maverick can't even win at Wheel of Fortune. What? <laughs> what? I was I was watching Up Up Down Down. Oh no! And it was Drake Maverick versus Carmella versus twenty four seven champion R Truth. The rules have been suspended. For a game of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and Drake Maverick kept getting loser turns and bankrupts. Oh no. It was amazing because that's computer generated and it still played perfectly into the gimmick. Fantastic. <laughs> it was it was the best. And he was just getting more and more pissed off and he kept trying to call a referee in to ambush truth as soon as the game was over. <laughs> it was great. It was really, really fun. It's like a, it's a half hour of of your time, but it's well worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Ronnie? Uh, well, let's see here. I learned oh, to God, try I, to. I gave you so much time, Ronnie. I, I know, and I still can't think of anything. I learned to try to uh, remember uh, people's gimmick names. It's probably probably a good idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, we're, oh, otherwise yeah. we'll call you memory loss prevention. Memory loss prevention. Yeah, yeah that's what I need. <laughs> that's what I need. Memory loss prevention. I, I, I've learned that uh, WWE is going to try to go head to head with AEW, and uh, everybody's either going to DVR one or the other. It's not really going to be a competition. It's going to be uh, somebody's going to watch one and DVR the other. Okay. It's it's the new age now. It's, yeah, it's not like we're going to miss it, but I mean, no, going to see it. I mean, that is the question. Is like, do they are they going to be doing something that we're like, well, I got to watch that live. I mean, I'm going to watch AEW live. Mm-hmm. I'm going to DVR NXT. But yeah, yeah, or watch it the next day on the network, right? Well, I don't. Yeah, well, yeah. We, yeah we, if you, I mean, you know, yeah. ideally. $9.99 a month. $9.99. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Scarlett, what'd you learn from wrestling recently since yeah. you're not here every week? <laughs> yeah. Um, learned that I got to um, step my game up. It's a lot of competition. It's a lot of. Um, a lot of things are moving in a good direction, I'll say. Okay. So it's like, good. you know. You gotta gotta be on a swivel, like I said. That's right, Ronnie. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are doing great, by the way. Thanks. You're, you're awesome. So. Not you, Mike. <laughs> no, I I know I'm <laughs> he's like he's like, Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Just sneaks that in. No. No, I was saying Ronnie's not sorry. No, I, well, sometimes I am. Yeah. But no, you you have improved a lot and you are getting a lot better. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so I'm much. I'm a fan of your work. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Even though you cock blocked me and didn't give me oh, tag God. titles. Well, <laughs> Ronnie, you down. probably deserved it. Yeah. Yeah, probably true. Yeah. Jeez. I, I, I would have beat uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, Annabelle if it wasn't for those meddling kids and that dog named Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's true. What? I don't know. Just I didn't review that match. Yeah. On Fight Society, available on PWNnetwork.com. Yes. <laughs> Everybody watched the imaginary thing where I was nowhere close to winning the match. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what did I learn from this week? Um, I learned scheduling is important, hmm. and I learned that doctors are always late. <laughs> I also had a doctor's appointment this morning, and it was a nurse practitioner, and she was on time. Oh, good for her. Yeah. Yes. That's great. That's right. And I took some blood. Yeah. <laughs> got my... Yes. The vampires got me, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, um, I I honestly can't bring up the chat room because something died and I can't see the uh, chat room right now. I learned something. Uh, but you no, yell it. Underpants. Underpants. Under. Producer uh, Missy learned underpants. Okay, uh, the boy meets world episode. Where he's like underpants. <laughs> I passed. I passed the coloring book for Captain Underpants like the uh, next day and I had to laugh. Sorg. Mm. Kyle, Kyle Turner learned that WWE doesn't believe in Anderson in Gals and Anderson enough to let them hold on to tag titles. No. And that, that Wednesdays are going to be the best night of the week. Yes. Um, yeah. Chris Escher learned that The Fiend is like Heath Slater, except he beats up the legends. Mm-hmm. Um, Tina is going to learn about her first live New Japan experience. Ooh. She's going to the opening round of the Super J Cup. Yes. Ooh. I'm super jealous. Uh, uh, let's see. Dave Podner learned that Ziggy Haim is for the kids. That's true. Um, Alex Miller learned that The Fiend has a badass entrance song with the lantern. That lantern is awesome. Um, T. Croce, whoever the fuck that is, also learned that the that garbage vet gets booed in a VFW. No one knows what that means, T. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and we have a request for Scarlet to chop on it. No. They, they, they've been asking for that all night. I support it. I No, I'm not getting shot. I support it. I support it. Ronnie. Is Listen, agreeing. Ronnie, we're not going to make anybody do anything unless Scarlet really wants to. Scarlet, we're not doing it. <laughs> I refuse. I will not be a test dummy on the show because Wes Fetty thought it was funny. That shot me on the show. We're not doing it anymore. Beast man. Give me beast man. Listen, listen. Whatever, kayfabe. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to know what Ty Cross is talking about, the garbage vet. <laughs> I still don't know who that is. He has a bunch of chickens. Are they... No, they're ducks. Ducks? No, the chickens was a thing you saw on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Like, chickens, ducks. Person, yeah, no one knows who that is. No one knows. Party foe? Pretty speculation. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, Oh, party Owls? fouls! Oh, ah, yeah. ah, 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 that's his new name oh, now. No. One that day, his new name. One day, we'll one day. Party foul, T. Crossy. Yeah, that's right. One day, we'll we'll invite party foul, party foul, Ty Cross onto the show. Someday, someday, someday. <laughs> Scarlet, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. I hope you had fun. I had wonderful time. <laughs> Don't <worry. You're> <laughs> <laughs> uh, Once again, tell people where they can find you online. Um, three underscores dot I'm Scarlet, pretty much. Awesome, and you're on the Facebook as well, right? Yes, under Scarlet Pro Wrestler. Yeah. Excellent, mm -hmm. awesome. I'm looking forward to see what's going on again. Angel Gate Wrestling I pay per view. Uh, check out information on the uh, Angel Gate on your Facebook, your Twitter, or on the Indie Wrestling dot net dot us. Uh, it's also pinned to the chat room if you're with us on Facebook, uh, but also on the interwrestling.us uh, pay-per-view page over there uh, for further information. And that is uh, as at 7 p.m. bell time uh, Saturday night, and you can catch a little bit of preview on the Facebook, too. Uh, Ronnie Starks is doing Ronnie Starks things on the internet. Yeah, you can find me on the Twitter machine at uh, Starks Wrestling. I almost forgot my Twitter handle. That's all right. Uh, on the Facebook at Ronnie Starks, I have a like page and a friend page, so you can friend me and book me. Well, what? wrestling wise, don't actually, you know, for other yeah, shenanigans, don't book me for other shit. birthday parties, bar mitzvahs. Yeah, bar mitzvahs. If you want to make sure this bar mitzvah is safe, uh, safety regulations at your bar mitzvah. You know, if you're picking the kid up on the on the chair, make sure I'm there. Make sure he's been okay. I got to do that for somebody at a wedding once. Nice. Yeah, that was that was a high point. And then uh, on the Instagram at the Ronnie Starks, Excellent. I post pictures of toys and funny stuff and more toys. Yeah. 
<laughs> we see where his money is going. Uh, yeah. Mad Mike four eight three on the Twitters. Also YouTube.com slash poppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, poppy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Poppy. Yeah. And thank you, producer Missy. Thank you, everybody in the chat room, which finally rebooted on my phone. Uh thank you everybody. Oh, he has a number of ducks in his chat room. Find out how many how many ducks uh, uh this guy has. Yeah, make sure you get live. ducks in a row. <laughs> You're really quacking me up right now, man. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's enough. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.